Hello, this is Brother Cromer again from the Math Department, and this is a continuation of Lesson 7, dealing with probability calculations involving the mean response. So what we covered already is really a review of Lesson 5 up here, then we covered a review of Lesson 6, and then we are dealing with dealing with probabilities, uh, probability calculations involving a mean response. First, we dealt with it when our population data is normally distributed. Now let's review again lesson, lesson 6, where we review the mean standard deviation and shape of a distribution of sample means when the parent population is not normally distributed. So here's an example of this, uh, what, we, what we saw in Lesson 6. Suppose mean internet usage time of all BYUI students is 10 hours with a standard deviation of 2. This distribution is right skewed. Suppose a random sample of 50 students were surveyed concerning their internet usage. What is the, and a sample of 50 would be considered large, what is the mean, standard deviation, and shape of the distribution of sample mean internet usage times based on a sample of 50 students? So the mean of the means, the mean of this, uh, the mean of all possible sample means is equal to the population mean, which is 10 hours, which you see up here. The standard deviation of the, of the of all possible sample means is the population standard deviation, which is 2 divided by the square root of our sample size, and our sample size is 50. If we solve for that, we get a z-score of negative, of, of, excuse me, of 0 0.283. The distribution of our sample, distribution or distribution of sample means is normal because our sample size is large enough, so now we can apply the central limit theorem, okay? So now what I'd like to do is I'd like to find area, a probability within a sample distribution when the population data is not normally distributed, okay? So now let me go through this. This is a similar example that we've, um, that, uh, we've seen before, but now we're going to deal with the original population being right skewed. So suppose the mean internet usage time of all BYUI students, BYU Idaho students is 10 hours and a standard deviation of 2. This distribution is right skewed. What's the probability that a random sample of 50 students has a mean internet usage time greater than 12 hours? So step one, so if you want to go uh, stop the video and go through these two steps on your own, that's fine, and then check your answers. So step one, convert the value of x bar using the standard normal variable z, so basically find the z-score. So first of all, we want to get the z-score for 12 hours. So we take the 12 hours minus the population mean, which is 10 hours, divided by our standard deviation of 2, but then that's divided by the square root of our sample size, which is 50. And so we solve for this and we get a z-score of 7.07. .07. And we can go to the applet, but looking at the z-score, what is the, what would likely be the probability? But what I have here, it's somewhere close to zero. If we were to sketch this in the, in the, distribu in the, in the normal distribution curve, 7 would be way out here, and so if we shade over to the right, which is what this is asking because we're looking for greater than 12, it would be very close to zero. In fact, this is in scientific notation, meaning it's uh, 0 point, and then it's 12 zeros, and then 7, 7. So that's a pretty small probability. And that concludes the Lesson 7 videos dealing with probability calculations involving a mean response. If you have any questions, please speak to your instructor or to one of your TAs.